we're clearly getting spoiled over here. Another Holly Black fairy story. I feel like I'm 16 again. And this time Genius Holly Black has decided to make another trilogy, meaning we have two more fairy books to look forward to in the near future. Clearly this can't be the darkest timeline. The heroine of The Cruel Prince is Jude, a human raised by fairy nobility. Her parents once lived in fairy and Jude's mother was once married to the red cap general named Maddox, but her mother eventually wanted to divorce Maddox and she realized that the only way that she could do this was to fake her own death. Jude's mother was pregnant at the time with Maddox's child and soon after she got back to the real world, Jude's sister Vivian was born. Jude and her twin sister Taryn were both born human in the real world. Unfortunately though, Maddox realizes that Jude's mother was alive and comes to bring her back to fairy, but ends up killing her and her husband. With nowhere left to go, Maddox takes Vivian, Jude, and Taryn back to fairy and raises them just like any other fairy noble child. All three sisters have different approaches to life in fairy. Vivian, the one who could easily fit in, vows to hate Maddox and never really learns to love her new home. Jude's twin sister Taryn desperately wants to fit in, but she's scared and a bit cowardly. Jude, on the other hand, wants to fit in, but she also wants to prove that she's as good as any fairy out there. She excels at her lessons and at combat. She has also managed to make a powerful enemy. Prince Cardin and his lackeys Nicasia, Locke, and Valerian have been picking on her incessantly. They make her eat fairy food, threaten her to drown, and the more she she stands up to them, the more aggressive they get. Fairy is facing an upheaval. The king is retiring from his throne and he plans to pass his crown onto his chosen successor. The crown is magic so that it should be impossible to stage a coup, but in the world of fairy, anything is possible. Jude quickly gets wrapped up in the politics and gets stuck between the three princes. Cruel Cardin, Noble Dane, and Hot-Headed Balkan. The Cruel Prince is full of plot twists and turns as Jude gets sucked further into the politics. The twists are as much character driven as they are fueled by secrets and surprises. Jude is a strong character who has enough wits to survive and the determination to learn whatever she needs to fit in. Her greatest strength is her stubbornness. Jude's sister Taryn, however, is a piece of work. We mentioned that she's a bit cowardly, but it becomes apparent the more you read about her that she is also selfish and self-absorbed. Not a fan. Taryn never stands up for her sister and always chooses her own happinesses over Jude's. Every. Single. Time. Meanwhile, Jude's half-sister Vivian, the one who could fit into Fairy the easiest, is the one who would help her hide a body if asked. But one of the most interesting aspects of the Cruel Prince is Jude and her relationship with her stepfather Maddox. Despite killing her mother and father, he has never treated Jude and Taryn as anything less than his daughters. He made sure that they were properly educated, brings them to fairy functions, and even read to them when they were children. Jude has never forgotten the reason why her parents are dead, but she respects Maddox and she wants his respect as well. It's a well-written relationship that you haven't really encountered before, and one that does a good job at making Jude a relatable character. Interestingly enough, there isn't a strong love interest in this book. Jude does get with Locke, one of Cardin's crew, for a while anyways, but it's clear that she's not really serious about him. And obviously you're going to get to know Cardin better and you might suspect that he and Jude are going to get along by the end of the book and probably fall in love or something. But Holly Black takes their relationship in a different direction, unlike every other time when the characters usually couple up. Setting wise, The Cruel Prince takes place in fairy, which isn't much different from the other books in her modern fairy tales series, but this is the first book to take place solely in fairy. But since the series is based in fairy, we get some cameos from some of your favorite characters, including the ones we haven't seen in a long time, like Kay and Roybin. And Roybin is still extracting undisclosed favors from people. Good to know. We briefly glimpse Hazel, Ben, and Severin, and the way the book ended, it's entirely possible that some of these old friends might get more than brief cameos in the rest of the series. We will have to wait and see, but I cannot tell you how excited I am to read the next book. The Cruel Prince was just setting the stage, and while that was clearly its function in the series, after you hit the end, it doesn't feel like it was just a setup when you were reading it. It's a self-contained narrative that could stand easily on its own. We thoroughly enjoyed the Cruel Prince, and we think that you will too. And check out our spoiler review to find out just how the end of the book went down, and trust me, you want to know exactly how the end of the book went down. Let us know what you thought of the book in the comments below, and if you liked our review, please subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye!